Taylor here with AgriSpray Drones. Today we're out in the field doing some training with the guys who are doing our custom application this year. We're testing out our trailer, we're testing out the drones, we're training our pilots, getting our system in place. I'll be bringing you guys along for the ride as we do so. So I'd just like to show you guys a little bit about the trailer that we have right now, kind of what we use, that way you guys can kind of see what does a real world application scenario look like. How many people do you need? How do you do it safely? How do you do it right? How do you fill drones, take off, battery management, generators, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to point out a few things. Let's take a look. So first off, you'll notice that we are refilling the drones on top of the trailer and landing the drones on top of the trailer, as well as operating on top of the trailer. So this is for a few reasons. First off, if we pull into a field, we always have a place to land. Some fields we pull into, the spot that's best to land is right where you just parked the truck. So for us, it doesn't matter. We always land right there. Secondly, the operators can see across the entire field, even in tall corn, which is really, really important. You know, line of sight is not just, you know, what you have to do legally, but if you can't see the drone, then how do you know, you know, it's doing the right job? You know, how do you know that you're going to maintain communication, connection with the remote and the drone? So this is kind of our ideal platform. Everything we need is all on top. Our battery chargers, our uh, spots to put our batteries, our remotes, we've got shade canopy up there, our hose to fill the drone, everything's up there. So we have a T-40 taking off right now. We're operating two drones on this platform. So this T-40 here is actually going to go out to the field. He's controlling it right now. And then he's going to turn it to the left and it's going to start spraying on the, uh, this side of the field. This T-40 here just finished on that side of the field. So it's coming back in for refill. We try to stagger our takeoffs and landings as best as we can. Now, you're never gonna get it perfect, but we're figuring we got about a six or six and a half minute cycle time. So takeoff to takeoff, which means if we take one drone off, about three minutes later, we should be taking that second drone off. There you can see our operator up top grabbing a battery. He's grabbing his nozzle right now. He, you can see he's got, uh, we're testing this out right now. This is our, uh, our safety harness. We have a cable that goes uh, from, the, from the front to the back. And this is, yeah, just for safety. So if we get careless, if we trip over a hose, he's not gonna fall off the top of the trailer. All right, so generators. We've got two Westinghouse 9500 generators on the front of the trailer. Each of those power one of our chargers. And then one of those is running our mixing system. We run our cords from the front all the way under the deck to the back of the trailer. So let's go take a look at our mixing system and how we're gonna manage chemical. So back here, you'll see we've got five small tanks and we've got our big totes. Our totes will just have water in them or if we're doing like a foliar fertilizer type product, then one of the totes may have foliar fertilizer. And then our smaller tanks here, those are gonna be our, our actual you know, chemical. So our actual, our fungicide, our insecticide, maybe our adjuvant uh, or defoamer or something like that. We'll go in those tanks. And then we have an automatic uh, mixing system or really it's truly a blending system that blends everything in together all at the same time continuously into that 30 gallon comb bottom batch tank. So over here on the very back of the trailer, you can see that being done right now. This right here is this uh, mixing system. So we can see our pumps are turning right now. They're pulling product from separate tanks and they're blending product all into that one batch tank right now. Whenever that batch tank gets full, it's gonna shut off. And you can see coming out of the bottom of our batch tank, we have a recirculation pump. And we also have our pump that goes up to the top that we fill our drones with. So if our batch tank gets full, it, the system, the mixing system shuts off. And as we empty out the tank to fill the drones, it turns back on. Um, this is a system we, we designed, we put together. We'll actually have this available uh, very, very soon, if not right now, whenever you're watching this video, uh, for you to have one of these systems yourself. And essentially you would do all your own plumbing. You'd have the box and be plumbed up to all of your different active ingredients, all your different products you'd be blending in. All right. Let's take a look at the top and uh, you can see how this works up there.
So we have a drone coming in right now. Uh, this is our T-40 on the left side of our field, the north side. There you can see it's returning to home automatically right now. And then doing an automatic landing with a little bit of manual input from our pilot. Then our refill guy is going to try not to get tangled up in his cord and he's going to go out there and refill it. The T-40 uses one battery. That's one 30,000 milliamp battery. So usually the best thing to do for us is we're going to go ahead and start filling the tank first. The tank's going to take about 30 seconds, maybe 40 seconds to fill. That's plenty of time for us to swap that battery, power it back up, and then just watch our tank and manage our volume right there. We're probably gonna put a little bit bigger pump on this. That way we can uh, do this process a bit faster. Our goal is about a minute on the ground. All right, there you see he's done with filling that tank. He's coming back. And we've got our pilot over here. Everything's booted up on the drone. So he's gonna go ahead and uh, reload. It's gonna go back to our left off and continue from there. We've got a pretty large deck here. That way we can be you know, about uh, 15 feet away from the drone. And we actually have a railing that we can stand behind you know, just in case something happens. If, the, you know, if we lose a prop or lose a motor at takeoff, then we can be behind our railing. Uh, that way we're not in any danger at any point in time. Uh, so right here, this is where we've got um, you know, our, our hose that comes up to fill the drone. This is the nozzle system that we kind of like to use. It works really well with our fill-through caps. Uh, Jordan here has got a shutoff uh, for the pumps. So whenever it's on, then this light turns on, just like that. Now the pump's on, and whenever it's off, light turns off. Because since it is kind of loud up here with the generator, we can't hear that pump downstairs. So this is a visual sign that our pump is on because we don't like to leave our pump on all the time whenever it's just deadheading into here. All right, back here's where our operators are at. And they're gonna manage the drones. Each of them has a remote in their hands. Uh, they are watching the drones, monitoring it on the screen, just making sure nothing goes awry while they're out there. Uh, DJI system is great because you can actually take over manually at any point in time with the sticks during autonomous operation. So if anything happens, if you wanna you know, get the drone out of a dangerous situation, you don't have to think, just grab the sticks and fly it, which is nice to have two remotes and two drones, not just from a legal standpoint, but also because if you know, one drone is being refilled and somebody you know, has the remote for the other drone, the other drone's coming back to refill at the same time, we can very quickly and easily pause that drone on the way back without having to think about switching over on the remote to select our other drone. We just grab the remote for that drone. Over here, we have our controller management system. Uh, so this is a box with a flip top lid on it. Uh, this has power in it. So our remote batteries will charge in here. Um, our remotes can charge in here. We have our monitoring system for our mixing station right here. So we can see the volume levels of all of our, um, all our pumps down, our tanks down below. And then we can see if the, if the pump is on or not. Right now it's off because the tank is full actually. And then down here, of course, we have our batteries and our, our chargers. That's really about it. Um, this is the job. This is what you do whenever you are, you know, spraying the field all day long. Then it's just a matter of making sure the drones are doing their job. And all the job you have to do is fill it, swap battery, take off again. It's uh, repetitive, but honestly, it's pretty simple. Uh, a lot of planning goes into it. And of course, there's, um, you know, you have to kind of think through the, how you're going to, you know, do, perform some operations, some are easier than others. This is just a big open field. Sometimes there's obstacles you have to navigate around. Um, and really our goal whenever we're, you know, operating in the heat of the season, so fungicide season, everybody wants everything all at the same time. So we have to be as efficient as possible. That's why we put together this system so that we can not only operate efficiently, we can go from one field to the next very efficiently. We can make sure our operators are staying safe all at the same time. Guys, that's really about it. Um, if you guys have any questions about anything on our trailer, anything you know about our these drones, you want to get a drone yourself um, and start operating this summer, there's still time. Give us a call, let us know. Thanks.